SB 386 is being widely supported by Maryland lawmakers. It would ban ghost guns in the state of Maryland. Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy. The Attorney General says 12,000 12, ghost guns were shipped into Maryland just last year. In Montgomery County alone, the statistics on these firearms are alarming. Police there say in 2019, they recovered 16 ghost guns. In 2021, that number jumped to 71 in just one county. And police there say they've already recovered nearly the same amount just three months into the year. This is the most important intelligent piece of criminal legislation that was in the legislature this year addressing reducing violence in our community. Earlier this year, a student at Magruder High School was accused of bringing a ghost gun to school and using it to shoot another student. McCarthy says five have been taken out of Montgomery County schools this year and it's children who are his top priority. Getting this legislation passed breathes life back into a lot of the gun legislation that's been adopted over the last 20, 25 years here in the United States without getting a handle on ghost guns. You basically are rendering a lot of the positive things that we've done to control guns in our community kind of meaningless. Governor Larry Hogan wasn't speaking with the media on Wednesday to answer questions on where he stands with the bill. But McCarthy says it has support not only from lawmakers, but police across the state. I would be surprised if he did not sign this bill. I think uh, I think he I think he understands uh, the challenge that ghost guns uh, pose. Well, we also reached out to a number of law enforcement agencies around the state of Maryland to try to gather their statistics on ghost guns. A lot of them were not able to get that data for us for today, but Prince George's County did provide that information for us late this afternoon. I do want to read those numbers out to you because they say in 2021 in 2020, rather, they recovered 100 ghost guns and 100 more uh, ghost guns in 2021 than they did in 20. In 2022, they say that they've recovered 449 guns so far this year. 78 of those ghost guns, 78 of those guns have been ghost guns. Now, also in a quick conversation earlier on the phone with Maryland State Police, they say they were not able to provide that data for us today. And it's also kind of hard to track it unless those guns are left at a crime scene. Uh, otherwise, it's hard to determine whether they're ghost guns or not. But again, we're hoping to learn more from Governor Larry Hogan if he will sign that bill. But that's the latest from here in Northwest DC. I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back to you all in the studio. A pivotal decision. I know you'll be watching it closely. Megan, thank you.